What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. So, I did a little bit of grinding to the team. I figured maybe we should train up Hamstar a little bit. He's got the EXP share. I got it up to level 16, which we could definitely afford to go higher than that. But um, that's probably good for now. Let's actually just stick Happy in front. I think we probably have some more battles um, at the landfill area. Snake's also level 23 along with Charlotte, so we're looking good. I do also want to note that I'm probably going to end up training Dracula eventually. Uh, this thing does have a really cool ability, and I've heard that it's actually pretty damn good. I'm just salty at it because its people killed my roundhouse, but we forgive and we forget, so I guess I'll end up using that thing later. So we're just going to head back up to the north. I think this is where we're supposed to go. I don't know if there's more trainers over here, if there's really anything for us to do, but I did actually find out there is, in fact, a gym in this city as well. So we're going to take on the gym this episode. Should be fun because we don't do too well against electric types. Um, I mean, Snake could do decent i guess with hitting it with poison moves and then we got charlotte maniac might be up there to help out a little bit but who knows what's going on over here rust bolt sure creates a lot of trash they got even extra hands like us to help the other workers when it becomes too much to handle nice i heard my co-workers talking about some superstition about this place that at night the mounds of garbage around here have huge circles of rubbish surround surrounding dolls almost as if it was a monument then in the morning the circles and the dolls vanish without a trace gives me chills just thinking about it well that's pretty damn spooky okay so there is an item right here we got ourselves a coin case nice so we could actually <laughs> we could go to um, the game corner and go try to win some coins but what's going on over here okay so this guy does want to battle us oh youngster let's pass let's battle to pass the time let's do it you got your tractors out and everything great graphics in this game they, they really took their time with this the guy's got a stotox level 16 happy you can handle that thing we'll just give it a nice little uh Little water pulse to the face, Stotox ain't gonna like that, you rock type asshole. That thing has got to evolve into something awesome. Happy does grow at a level 23 as well, the team's looking pretty nice. Next is another Stotox, we'll just stay in here. Um, I'm actually really worried about our upcoming rival battle with Rodney. If that dude comes at us with even scarier than what he did last time, we're gonna have a bad time because we don't have freaking Roundhouse to take care of his uh, evolved starter, but I guess we will deal with that when we come across it, but um, yeah, it looks like, that, looks like there, are, there really isn't anything else for us to do in this place, so let's just head back down, and I believe there is the gym somewhere around here. I did see it when I was running back down to train. Um, yep, there it is. I don't know how I ended up missing this before, but here we have the Rust Bolt City Gym Leader Electra. We've got Carmen Electra as the gym leader, and let's just go ahead and hop right in. I, I got, oh, uh-oh. Would you look who it is? Ha, you again, always behind me. Have you come to face Electra? Heads up, she uses electric types and they're not weak, so you might have a problem on your hands. Alright, he's just laughing at us. Here's a tip, use a ground type or grass type Pokemon. Flying types and water types are not that effective. Good luck, loser. You'll definitely need it. So, uh, alright. So, I mean, we probably shouldn't have Happy in front. That's really not going to be the vibe here. I think I'm pro I'm going to go with Snick for now. We, could we can get some good special defense drops with Acid Spray and then... They kind of, we resist them at least, which is good. Whoa, it's all crazy colors in here. Hello there, this is the gym of Rustbolt City. The leader, Electra, specializes in electric type Pokemon. Just remember that ground type, yeah, I'm, I'm aware, we just heard that. Shouldn't use water and flying type Pokemon. Maybe this will help you against her, and we get ourselves, ooh, a Paralyze Heal. So, rather than the fresh water, he gives us a para heal. That's kind of nice. Oh, I did actually, I wanted to note that I found out that freaking Hamstar evolves at level 19. So, if we could get that thing to evolve, that could be... Kind of nice, but all right. So, what the hell is going on in here? Just dancing, huh? All right. So we can't actually go over there, but do I have to just? I guess we talk, gotta talk to this guy to open up the gates. You've got to win to get the electric fields down. Well, let's do it. I hope they have some type of new electric types. Although we did see a whole bunch of electric types on that last route. He has one of them Terrazes. Okay, thing's level 20, and it's, I think, flying electric, so electric should be neutral. Yeah, alright, not bad. Hits us with an air cutter, we eat that up. Uh, so this thing's level 20, and that's actually pretty damn scary. To be honest, I don't know if I should be I should grind more before this. I feel like I probably should, because I've definitely done a number in terms of killing the team members lately, and I should probably stop that habit. But okay, it opens up this gate, and we can continue. What's up? Sparks will fly in here. I'm sure they sure will. Let's get it. Just rocking out. Guitarist Ashley has two Pokemon. You got a Buzzied. Hey, we have not seen one of these things yet. Uh, gotta be Grass Electric type, so that works out for 
Uh, we'll just go for an Acid Spray. We have much higher special attack than we have physical attack, even though Acid Spray is lower power than Poison Fang. It also does seem to get that, uh, that special defense drop, which really is nice for us. So Goes ahead and sucks some energy. We really hope that the Gym Leader ends up having one of these things, because our Snacky Boy can handle that. Anyway, down you go. Very interesting cry you got there. Maniac grows to level 17. We're getting there, buddy. And a Humzing is next. I have no idea what a Humzing is. Oh my Jesus, that has got to be an electric bug or an electric flying. I We're going to try a Charge Beam. Um, it is actually just neutral, so that's great. We get that special attack. Raise goes for a parabolic, parabolic chase. <laughs> chase charge. Parabolic. That's quite the, that's quite the word there. I'm, my brain is too small for this. Um... So it's good to know that at least some of the electric types here we can hit neutrally for the electric attacks, which is pretty nice for us because Snake's going to be doing a lot of the dirty work here along with Charlotte, I guess, but Acid Spray is going to finish you off. That thing's actually pretty cool looking. I kind of like that thing. We have defeated Guitarist Ashley, and uh, time to continue. We should probably heal up here just to play things safe. Do I have... Yeah, I just have some regular potions. Might as well just use... Uh, we'll just use one of those bad boys for now. Yeah, let's get this money. Wait, did it open just the left gate now? Why you gotta be so confusing with it? I wanna talk to these people. How are they just skating around? <laughs> what the fuck is going on there? Hello, time to shine bright. It is about that time. Guitarist Kendra would like to battle. Got a humzing again. Nice, level 20. I honestly feel like after this battle, we're probably gonna have a rival battle with Rodney. Um, and if that's the case, I mean, I'm just assuming a lot of people said that there is a rival battle in pretty much every city. We haven't had one in this city yet. We have talked to him, um, but we haven't had a battle with him yet. So I really think that we should probably probably do a little bit of grinding. Uh, I think that, that could help us out and get critted there. Damn you, Humzing. And we missed the charge beam. Really, bruh? So this thing has speed boost, which is really interesting. He's like a little hummingbird with like a, I guess, just electric hummingbird. Kind of cool. We'll finish you off with a poison fang, because why not just click in random moves here? And you go down. So, Snake's getting close to level 24. Too much electric vibes. Too much? You can never have too much electric vibes, buddy. Let's go for, uh... Where are my super potions at? Okay, we have eight super potions. We are going to use one of them get back to full. So, how many trainers do we have in this place? Got at least one more, and then I think it's... The gym leader. Groovy! Trainer battle. Got this hippie-ass dude with his long hair. What's up, guy? Guitarist Lenny here has two Pokemon. He's got a Zuppy. Level 19. Let's go to, for Acid Spray. Um, it is neutral against this thing. Drop that special defense, which really does not matter, as it goes for an agility, though. So, Interesting. Um, we could probably just finish it off with a Poison Fang. And now it's going to charge. This thing is really just trying to set up on me, huh? Agility and charge. Unfortunately, buddy, you're a little too, too frail for that, so Poison Fang, go and kill you. And next is a Snazap. So, that is me, and <laughs> let's just go into Charlotte for this. Might as well. I assume the Gym Leader might have around level 25s, and if that's the case, that's a little bit scary. But I think we'll, I think we'll be okay. To, oh, wait, I shouldn't have Bug Bite this thing. I mean, it still isn't easy to hit KO, but Bite would have been better. I just naturally go to freaking Bug Bite, because Charlotte likes to Bug Bite things. And we've been wrapped. Just wrapped the wrapper. Spiders are little literal wrappers. They just be wrapping you up. But alright. Killed that thing. How much experience we get in here? We do get a level 24 with Charlotte. Trying to learn agility. Um, we're not going to learn agility. I don't end up using speed plus moves in let's plays. Just doesn't seem... I mean, just regular playthroughs of games doesn't really seem necessary. But alright, so wait. This isn't the gym leader. Still got one more before the gym leader. And uh, that's interesting. I guess we'll just leave, leave Snakey Boy in front. Can you feel the beat? The beat of a battle. You're gonna feel the beat, if you know what I mean. Cause I'm a beat that ass, Dancer Kevin. They're really, Kevin, you're gonna come at me with a Zuppy? You're talking about beating me, and then you just bust out a Zuppy? That's fine. We are just gonna ask this for you. It seem, we seem to get the special defense drop quite a bit with that. Which is actually pretty damn nice. That's gonna help us out here. Um, we'll just finish you off with one more acid spray. Is that all this guy had? The background of this place is kind of cool. We do get a level 24 there, and a level 18 for Maniac. Looking nice. Alright, we get a thousand bucks, 
And we have finally arrived at the gym leader. Before we take this on, I feel like I should probably just go heal. We are most likely going to need all the potions we have. Um, we don't want to leave ourselves in a bad spot there. So let's go ahead and heal. I don't think we really need to grind. I mean, two of my main Pokemon I'm going to be using here are level 24. So I think we're honestly okay. But uh, let us head down yonder. I think the Poke Center. This place is so fucking bad. I could have actually just used the taxi. Why did I forget about the taxi service? Because I like to run, and cardio is a way of life. Sorry, right, we'll get a nice little heal up here. The team is still looking a little bit empty. We need to, there's nowhere we can really catch anything new. I think there was one location back a few towns back um, in that haunted house area where we had the bad guys or whatever. I had a repel on, so I never got an encounter there, but at this point, it would probably just be a freaking spider thing, and it would be too low level. I'd have to grind it up, so... We're just going to continue with how the team is. I'm feeling pretty confident with uh, what we're working with here. So, let's head on back. I really don't know how I never saw this the first time I was running around this damn place. But, you know, I am dumb, so I, I wouldn't put it past me. All right. So, all the gates are still conveniently opened. These people are just absolutely jamming in here. And here we have the gym leader. What is up, lady? I guess we're ready to do this. We're probably just going to lead off this neck because we can get some spadef drops and stuff. Hello. Hey, my name is Electra. I'm the gym leader of Rust Bolt Gym. This gym is designed to be used as a disco because I just love to dance. I really like to feel the music move move through me like electricity. That's why I love electric type Pokemon. They're strong attackers and they're fast too. So let's have a battle. Show me what you've got. All right, let's get it. Um, I forgot that we even get to enter. I don't know. I don't know how. I... Well, we're just gonna lead off a of Snick. We're gonna go with Charlotte also and. Hmm, I'm not even gonna bring Happy because. Probably just going to die to an electric attack. I mean, Maniac's only level 18, but I, I feel like maybe we can live at least one attack if it comes down to using that thing. Who knows? Let's get it. Here's Electra. She's looking pretty crazy. Look at them pigtails. Let's do it. Dun, dun. Intense battle music and leads off with a Terraz. So level 22. We should be okay against this thing. Um, it would be really, really nice if I had a setup move. But let's just go right for a charge beam. Try to get a special attack drop. That would be great. We do... Er, uh, attack raise, not drop. Hits us with a lightning strike. That's something we have not seen before. That's actually pretty sweet. I'm going to go ahead and charge beam you again here. Can we get two special attack raises? If we could just... Okay. We're still sitting pretty good here. Next is a rush shot. And I have no idea what a rush shot is, so we're just going to stay in here. And holy... Sh okay, it's, de it's definitely the evolved form of the Zuppy. And we know that Acid Spray... At least I think this is neutral against this thing. I don't know what the hell it's going to come at me with. Rush shot, huh? Well, that thing actually looks pretty damn badass. Let's just go for an acid spray and see what's gonna happen here. It goes for a swift, and it actually has a normal gem, so it raises its power, does a lot of damage, uh, but we do get the acid spray off. We actually get the harshly defense drop, so that's perfect. Uh, we are gonna need to heal here, so let's just go ahead and super potion back up to full. And, uh, man, so we're, at, we're sitting at plus one. We got this thing down. Uh, we got a harsh defense drop, which is... Uh, special defense drop minus three so we should be able to do quite a bit with this next acid spray um, it does hit us with a lightning strike we're able to live it we're just using electric against the electric leader which is kind of funny but we are able to knock it out down goes the rush shot i really feel like that's got to be her ace right like we are going to grow to level 25 there, trying to learn bite um i don't think i should really teach bite it seems like I mean, I guess it would be kind of good to have a little bit more coverage. Charge Beam's better for us than Thunderfang because we do have higher special attack, much higher special attack. So let's just get Bite. I mean, might as well. Maniac grows to level 19. We are going to evolve after this. Hey, Maniac's trying to learn Bite too. What the hell? That is odd. Well, um, we are going to get rid of Baby Doll Eyes. We actually have Defense Curl Rollout, which is kind of funny. All right, next is an Echo Buzz. No idea what the hell that thing is. But I should probably switch here. Let's let Charlotte do some work. We're level 25 with Snack. Hopefully this thing is not a flying type. Please don't be. Oh, Echo, Echo Buzz. Okay. It looks like it's that grass type thing just evolved. That's actually an interesting little ad you got there. It's flower is like a like an antenna wire. Well, we're just going to go for a bug bite here and see what we can do with that. It is super effective, which is great. And we actually just knock it out in one hit. So that was a success. We're able to defeat the gym leader, and Electra has caught these hands. And finally, Maniac is about to evolve. So I have no idea what the hell this thing turned... Okay, it's just a 
pretty much swine up, looks like. What what are you gonna be, sir? Alright, he keeps the big ass eyes, and now we have a snuffuz. Which is actually a hilarious name to pronounce, but okay. Wow, that was electrifying battle. I loved it. I can see that you and your Pokemon have great rhythm. You have won this. And we get ourselves the lightning badge. And it looks like a Pikachu tail, which is kind of cool. So, would you look at that, ladies and gents? We got ourselves our third badge. That's my awesome badge. You also get this. And we get ourselves TM79 for lightning strike. Uh, that could be really nice for um, our new electric buddy. Causes damage and has a chance of confusing. Wish you luck on your adventure. Thank you. Let's actually take a look at that TM. Might as well kind of see if it's worth teaching. I'm sure it is. Lightning strike if it's a special attack. We could definitely use that. So let's see. Snake is the only one able to learn it. And let's take a look at what lightning strikes working with. 75 power. 100% accuracy. User strikes the foe with lightning. With a lightning. <laughs> it may also confuse the target. So that's great, actually. We should... Um, should get rid of Poison Fang. Acid Spray is better because, yep, we're a special attacker. And now we got that. We got a much better uh, electric move, so that's cool. Alright. Spirits are high. We didn't lose anything in that battle. Uh, but I am just afraid that we're going to get a rival battle here soon. And that is not what we want to see. Alright. So, nothing triggers after this gym. We can kind of just run free and do whatever we want. I assume now that that area, now we beat the gym, that area to the right where that janitor was blocking, we could probably head that way now. And we can kind of see what is popping over that way. So, let's go ahead and heal up here. I'm really not fit to take on Rodney. To be honest, we really just need a different, <laughs> like, our team just does not do well with that man's rollout. So, I mean, we could really mess up if I decide to just go for that now and he is over there waiting to battle. Um, so, just to play it safe, I'm going to go back and heal, or to heal, we're going to train a little bit, I'm going to get everybody uh, up a couple levels, maybe, Maniac actually might be useful, because it's, I mean, that thing is rock type, his starter is rock type, we don't really have much to hit it with, this thing has overcoat, still, um, I really just don't have much to hit that damn thing with, but uh, we are going to go back and train a little bit, I shall be back, and in better fighting shape. Alright, so here's the plan. I started grinding up and I realized that that is going to take absolutely forever. So, um, I got <laughs> our buddy Maniac up to level 20. I'm going to lead off with Happy. Um, I honestly don't know if we're about to have a rival battle, but like I said, people in the comments were letting me know that there is pretty much a rival battle in every city, which we haven't had one here yet. So I'm kind of afraid that if I go into this damn place, we're going to be jumped by Rodney. Um, but I think that if we can lead off with Happy... Get off a nice little Aurora Beam on that thing. Uh, maybe Quick Attack would be in range to kill. Although, I think I think we'll be okay. Let's just head over this way. This guy was cleaning the old floors, but it looks like he's finished. I finished cleaning the gateway. Now you can pass. Thank you, buddy. You should always take enough Pokeballs with you, so you can always catch the Pokemon you want. Thanks for the fun tip. Empty trash can, and let's see what is popping over this way. Here we have Route 4, and okay, it doesn't look like Rodney's here to beat us up. <laughs> That's actually great. So, we can actually catch a new wild Pokemon here, which we desperately need. So, let's see what we can find. Got ourselves in Awakening right there. Nice. And, alright. So, first encounter on this route we can catch. And, holy shit, it's one of these things. It's a Spony. <laughs> of course it's a Spony. Um, this thing's probably got some type of decent grass move to hit us with. Let's water pulse it one time and see how much that does. Freaking kick sand in my face, which is awful. Uh, we're going to maybe be able to catch the horse with the, the flower on its ass, which is cool. We'll go for one more of these bad boys. Oh, it freaking grass whistles me, you dickhead. Well, I'm so happy he's asleep. Um, I'd say we just try to throw some balls at this thing. Let's go for a great ball. See if we can manage to catch this. I honestly don't know how I feel about this thing. For some reason, I don't like pony Pokemon. I don't know. Well, we can we catch it first try. So it looks like Spony is added to the team. Got ourselves... A grass type. Spony stampeding through a field would not leave a trail of damaged plants. Of damaged, pl damaged plants. Rather, flowers bloom along their paths. Interesting. So, uh, Spony. Let's go with, uh, hmm. I'm gonna name you Shanae. You just look like a Shanae. Even though you're a male, I just, I go with the first thing I think of. I should have named it Shanae. N-E-I-G-H. <laughs> Yes. 
Nice. Well, that, that works. Kind of a girly name for a, a male horse, but that is fine. Uh, anyway, we have a cut tree here. We can go ahead and snippety snap that down. Thank you. Use them clippers. And we found TM01 for hone claws. Now, why is that TM01? Interesting. Well, that's kind of cool. Looks like we have a double battle here coming up. Happy's, of course, asleep. He looks pretty happy, though. Do I wake him up? I should wake him up. Um, excuse me, Happy. Oh, we do have an uh, awakening, so. What the hell would an awakening be? Just like a rock you throw at its face, like, wake up, bitch. Perfect. Well, we are going to see what you got for us. Let me show you my, sh show, let me show my talent to my cute girlfriend. Let's see it, buddy. We're about to beat you up in front of your girlfriend. Brooklyn and Lady Paris want to battle. They have one Pokemon each. Got a Pupwool. Oh my Jesus, I love it. And a Foxy. Pupwool and Foxy. Those things are actually kind of cool looking. Okay, so I assume Pupwool is going to be a water type. We're going to go for um, a water pulse on Foxy. I don't know what the hell type that thing's going to be, but we're definitely going to lightning strike on the Pupwool. It's like a, it's a freaking pit bull. It is going to go down to that. I mean, it's, it's just got like the, the overbite, underbite thingy. It's going to go for an assist. Unfortunately, your assist uh, gives you a terrible move, so that works out. Now we can just finish you off here. I wonder if Quick Attack will be able to do it. We're going to Lightning Strike either way, and Quick Attack is going to be able to finish it off. I honestly forget a lot of the time that that is actually an Ice-type Quick Attack because of my ability to refrigerate, but that's fine. Take my money. I have enough. <laughs> this guy's like, you know what? I have too much money. Okay, we can continue down this way where you have a freaking clown guy. Watch me juggle. I sure will, buddy. Let's see what you got for me, friend. Juggler has two Pokemon. Harlequin Ronald has a Paraka. Nice for happy. We can just Aurora Beam you. This isn't the fire type one. This is just a flying, I think. Um, so we're just going to spit some ice at you, which looks like we're peeing on you. And that's going to kill you. All right, what else you got for me? Maniac does still have the EXP share, so this is sitting pretty nice. Um, I guess we should start training up that freaking pony, but then again, I, I feel like it's probably worth our time to, I guess, just get, just get Maniac a little bit higher. I would, I hope it learns a better move set. For now, it's, I mean, it does have Hyper Fang, I guess, but we could use some more interesting moves. Really funny. Thanks. I'm hilarious. Okay, so Happy's level 24. Uh, we might as well just leave you in front, buddy. What do we have in this grass here? So we can actually head up, or we could just continue to the right. Of course, it's just a freaking other hamstar, so. You can get the hell out my way, hamstar. Young ham toro. Um, there's an item here. We can cut this down. It is really nice not having to have the HM for cut. Two Pokeballs, actually. We find a love ball. Nice. Forgot that love balls even exist until recently. And we got a max ether, which is actually really nice. Then we can head over this way. It's kind of just a shortcut. We didn't have to go all the way back. Um, so I guess we should probably battle this guy. What's up, pal? I bet you have strong Pokemon. Can I see? You sure can, buddy. I'm about to whoop your ass with him. Youngster Max here has a Hamstar. Level 18. And you're probably not gonna like Aurora Beam. Why? Why do all these youngsters only have Hamstars? I don't. I don't understand the rage between between <laughs> between these fucking like. What is the connection between youngsters and Hamstars? Next is a Paracaw. I totally said that incorrectly, by the way. I don't know how to speak English today, but, you know, that's seems to be a recurring theme. That's that's okay, though. Aurora Beam is going to kill your Paracaw. And since it's looking like we're going into a new route, we might as well actually just head over to the right and kind of see what's going on that way first. Probably going to freaking run into Rodney at some point, and that's not what we want. But it's okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident. Um, ooh, look at these guys are battling in right in the freaking way. Of course they are. Holy shit, what is this thing? A pea fan? It's a little peacock baby. I love it. Why could that not have been my encounter? Damn it. It's gonna go for a lucky chant. Shielded from critical hits. Well, you're probably gonna die from that, buddy. Damn it. I really wish I would have got a pea fan as my encounter. That's awesome. Okay, what are these guys doing? We're battling with an E. Don't interrupt us. Oh, okay. Sorry, buddy. Come on, Hamstar. Got a Hamstar versus a peak or a. Uh, the freaking parrot thing. More hamstars, of course. We just seem to attract the hamstars. Oh my god. So many wild Pokemon, please. Spare my life, Spony. Get me out of here, buddy. Can't escape. 
What the fuck, Happy? Okay, now we can escape. Um, and also, looks like we're about to have another battle with this lady, so, you know, let's actually stick Maniac in front. We'll see if Maniac can, uh, do some Maniac-like things. Hello, my lady. Do you smell this wonderful aroma? This comes from my lovely Pokemon. All right, she's got a smelly Pokemon, of course. And she has three Pokemon. Lady Shirley's got a Buzzied. Young Buzzied, only level 17. So, Maniac is up there. We're ready to do stuff on our own. We actually get a flinch because we have the Razor Claw on this thing, which is hilarious. And one Bite's gonna finish it off. I guess Bite's gonna have really a good chance of flinching, which is kinda nice. Next is a Spony, so we'll stay in here. I don't think this thing has any fighting moves, at least I hope not. And we're gonna Hyper Fang yo ass to death. Would we actually get a crit and kill it? Yo, Maniac is a fucking legend. Welcome to the team, buddy. And next is a Woodbeak. Don't know what to expect from a Woodbeak. I don't think we've seen any of these things. So we'll go into Snick for this. And oh my Jesus. Yo, that's actually kind of cool. Its beak is literally made out of wood, apparently. And uh, kind of a cool mod. We'll finish off with a lightning strike. Down you go, sir. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so we just got ourselves some berries over here. There is some water, but we can't really do much. I guess we could fish. Uh, but then again, all we have is the damn old rod, so not really going to be worth our time. Grab these here green apricorns. Thank you. And then there's one more blue acorns. They really make you click on shit forever. Please, just give me the acorns and let me be. Thank you. I really got to find out, find where that dude is that gives you the pokeballs out of the acorns. But all right, so we're just going to continue back this way where I, I guess we're just going to head uh, back up. But there's more freaking Paracaws in the way. And uh, we're just going to run from you. But where the hell was it just up here? Yeah, I guess it was just up this way past this youngster. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to head into the next area next time. How are you feeling? Seems to be holding something. And we got a tiny mushroom. Nice. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.